Welcome Wargamers to another Hobbit SPG Battle Report. So you're here at Hot Gates Gaming with your host James again with World Champion of Ripping Wargamers. Hello. And we're going to try and smash through some more exciting content for you guys and again trying to create a little bit of the theme and the story. So you want to yep. talk us through it? Uh, basically we're at Thornost, it's been absolutely ravaged by Angmar and um, out of the way of Marbeth for making a break for it. So the idea is I'll start within 12 inches of one corner and I need to get them off the opposite corner. So it would be a win for me if I get both uh, leaders off. It'll be a draw if we get one off, and it'll be a loss if James kills both of them. Fantastic. Now, we're really, really going to try and smash through this because unfortunately we don't have a ton of time, but hopefully it should be a good, nice visual battle report all of the same. Uh, and thanks very much for uh, for sticking around to get right. two of us uh, today. Uh, so we'll get back down, we'll show you the different armies and show you the ruins of Fornost mm. right away, right now. Street Fornos. As you can see, the walls have been crumbling down. There are burnt houses inside. There are some dwellings still where soldiers have uh, sort of rebuilt some of the houses just to keep a little bit warm and keep their barracks, but they know that time is not on their side because the enemy closes in. So down here we do have Arbadui, we do have Malbeth, and behind them we just have how many warriors? 24 warriors. 24, and that's exactly 350 points. Eight points off, but my warbands are full. Brilliant, that's absolutely really cool. Remember this is a 350 point battle report. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the evil Angmar army that they're gonna be facing. And down here again, something different for you guys. We have got a black Numenorian marshal on an armored horse uh, with a shield there and he is leading five. Black Newman, what they're not called Black Mongol Knights, that's what they're called. <laughs> that's what they're called. Uh, behind them as well, uh, it wouldn't be an Angmar force without a couple of, uh, couple of spectres. And we have three, three Orc spearmen behind there. Then over long we have a barrel white and we have six orcs with shield and six with spear. That is the Angmar force that we're bringing to the table today and we're going to roll now for turn one priority. So the ranks of Arnorians are formed up on the far side of Fornost, uh, ready to try and take their charge and break through the enemy, break through the ruins to where on this side, of course, the objective lies, which is this exit from the board edge. And all of the forces of Angmars have been summoned to try and stop this from happening and kill the king of the north. So we are gonna roll for first turn priority, as promised. First turn priority is gonna go to Arnor. So the Arnorian soldiers hiding behind the houses here can see the filth that awaits them through the ruins. I don't think they've been noticed yet though because it looks like the Angmar force has decided to split up to try and find the hunted and are just making their way towards the walls there with the cavalry on the flanks and all of the orcs rushing in. in and slight bit of disorder <laughs> through the middle. Nothing's going to happen for the rest of the turn, so we're going to go into turn two priority. And it's going to go to Angmar. Here we go, cold Fornost. And the force of Angmar had rushed in to plug the gaps between the ruined walls. Orcs have rushed through. The old gate that used to defend this age old town it used to be a big stronghold for Arnor. Uh, over here, the battered and weary Arnorians huddle together still are trying to find a way to escape before their doom comes. We all know the doom of Arnor. <laughs> we all know the story. Turn three, priority. And it's gonna go to Arnor. The orcs have spotted the force of Arnor, who formed up nicely here between one of the burned old houses, used to be a central part of this key fortress of the north. The tavern. 
the tavern, yeah, the tavern is gone. <laughs> uh, they have formed up and charging forward, of course, is the Black Numenor Marshal and his knights. Uh, in the meantime, the orcs have been scrubbing round, trying to get themselves into position, ready for what is to come. Of course, nothing yet, no shooting, neither are uh, uh, shooting forces, but combat's going to be coming soon. So next turn priority. It's going to go. Oh, it's going to go to so many of the orcs have just been rushing forward, but we're going to be coming in now because we have pre-measured this. We are going to be doing a little bit of spectorial awesomeness. So this spectre is going to be moving to here and he is going to demand that this Arnorian take a terror test. The courage test, if he passes it, he stays where he is. He's courage two. Double six. No. So he's going to move six inches forward and we're just going to move him as close in towards those Morgonites as we can. The next spectre is going to come and do the same. He's going up to there and he's doing it to that guy. So again, needing double six. He passes. He passes. Well, not needing double six, but needing that, but he does pass and we're going to carry on with the rest of Angmar movement. So the Angmar force have just crowded around these ruins here and in the meantime, the Black Numenor Marshal, supported by a Morgul Knight, have charged in on the guy who was pulled forward by the Spectre. And in the meantime, of course, thinking about running away and getting off the board is Malbeth and Arva Dewey, who have uh, pulled their force off in this direction. We are going to be going into the combat phase. And the Black Numenor Marshal is going to call a heroic combat. It's mm -hmm. going to call a heroic combat. So we are going to do that first. So the charging Black Numenorian Marshal. He's got three dice there, and we've got the charging Morgul Knight has got two. So we've got a high fight value in you, but what do you get? Oh, two yeah. highest, which is great. And we get four. Well, we got four wow. ones and a single four. So we do actually take that. So you are knocked down. We'll start off with the Morgul Knight. Got a lance. We would need sixes, but it becomes fives. He doesn't get a single one. And then we're going to do the uh, Numenor Marshal. We'll roll this twice. He will need four. fours. He gets it. I think it'd be fives, wouldn't it? Mm, dead. But he is dead. So there we go. And they're going to carry on with their heroic combat. So they carried on the charge there. And as you can see, the marshal is charged in on two. There is a spear support there. So you do have three dice. So what do you get? You force me to get that six. Painting on the front two. Of course. You, you get, get five, five highest. It's not bad. Better than my rolling before. And we oh, get. Oh, we've done it. You've done it. So you are going to knock him back Defense. on the marshal. Uh, he will be defence 7 and his horse is defence 5. We'll go for the horse then. So I need him 5s on horse. Nope. Nope. No. So he's going to survive and we're going to go straight into the next combat which is the Mongol Knight versus 2. Yeah. So 2 on 2, using Fair my lance of course. One. You get 3 highs which is superb. We get a 3. We're fight 4, you're fight 4. So it will be a roll off, it was you're my right. priority. So on a 1 to 3 this is going to go to Ooh. Angmar. But you, but you, but you, but you, it's up the table, the tension! Oh, yes. when it's going to go to Arnor. So you will need sixes on him, fives on his horse. Both on the rider, red reroll and ones. Good man. And no, no. sadly not. You don't get it, but this is how it's looking. So maybe a wasted heroic combat there, but who knows. Let's go into the next turn, priority. You get a three. And Mar gets a two. And it is going to go to the forces of Arnor. The marshal there is going to call a heroic move. No counters. No Crack counters. counters. Wonderful. So the forces of Angmar have rushed in, hoping to crush the right flank of the Arnorians. But in the meantime, a heroic march was called by Arvadui, and he has pulled his Arnorians round outside the exit of this ruined wall here, hoping to try and get past, of course, the Angmar force, which has just gone straight for it. So there isn't going to be any shooting at all. With that, we are going to go into the combats, and uh, it was your priority. It was. So you get to pick. Where are we going? Um, do this warrior here on the end against that charging knight. Okey dokey. You're going to shield. So you're going to shield. Let's go. Use my lance, of course. You got four highest. We get a three, and you are going to beat back him. So we're going to go next to that next combat there. Yeah. Yeah. You shield as well. So I'll use my lance. You get a five highest. We get a six. So we knock you down, and we will strength three. But we have our lances, so we need fives here. And we don't get a single one. Terrible rolling, uh, but you are knocked down there. So we're going to go to the next one. Shielding again. Shielding again. You get a six. It's good. Ooh, we it's get a, a six. It will be a roll off. Your priority. Four to six. It's going to go to Arnold. Oh, oh, it doesn't. Unfortunately, it doesn't. So again, oh, needing fives. What can we get? 
and he is, he's going to go down well outside of the Malbec bubble unfortunately. Uh, which is going to bring us over here. So we have the Marshall versus a Spear Support on one. Yeah, now faint with blue. Makes sense. You're going to get a five, five. it's good. But we get a five and we beat you on five value. Okay, so here we go. Needing fives. Yes. And just guess it. There we go. So we've only got one more combat here. We've got the Orc and the Spear Support versus Yule. Yep, I will go for it. Uh -huh. I think we're going in front of course, you get a 6 and you're going to win that combat. Take it. So he's defence 5, so you will need a 5. Oh, oh get in! And you kill him, an orc has been slain. <laughs> oh no. Here is Fornost, here's how he's looking, and it's going to the next turn priority. You get 2. It's going to go. It's pretty rough. Bang, Mark. So at the start of the turn, Mal Malvif, Alvadui has <laughs> did call a heroic march, but he has been a bit scuppered because two of the Mongol knights went and stood just outside of six inches of him. Of course, couldn't charge. But most of the Arnold force is gathered around on this flank, where in the meantime, well out of it over here are most of the oh, Arnold forces. But that's because they just went straight up the middle and went for it. So we are going to go straight into the combat phases, um, and we'll start off with this one-on-one -on -one here. Shielding. So you're going to shield, I'll use my lance. You get a five highest, and the knight gets a six he will need fives to kill you here and he's going to get you with that single six next up we've got the black numenor marshal with his spear support versus your armor warrior you shield and get a three highest oh, he gets a five and takes you first up the spear needing a six doesn't get it next up rolling this twice needing fives and wow just once takes him down Mega dead. so over on this side um, you're going to shield. I'll start off with just the charging Morgan Knight, just in case. You get a three highest. Morgan Knight gets a five on his own. Okay, let's pick up that dice and let's do his four first. Needing fives. And he gets it by himself without even the orc supports. Thought I'd put up more of a fight than this. <laughs> and next up, next up, we've got the uh, the single one there. And uh, let's see how we get on. Shielding. So, we're shielding using my lance. You get a six this time. I'm going to force the issue, but we get a six. So, here's a roll off. No roll off. One to three, it goes to Angmar, and it does. So four dice, needing fives. Not a single one, but you are going to be knocked down. So the resistance there in the middle has been completely destroyed. So Arvadui desperately hoping for priority. Let's roll, let's see what's going to happen. You get a five, it's strong, and it's stronger than that. So it is going to be going to the Arnorians. Are you going to call anything? Uh, not this turn, no. Not this turn, no. Okay, brilliant, so we're going to carry on with that now. So with the Arnorians getting priority, uh, they have moved forward and managed to pass their courage tests. Arvadu himself passed the courage test to charge in on those Morgul knights there. However, the front rank of Arnorians has been charged by a spectre and some orcs, and some of the orcs here, led by the Barrow Whites, have realised where the Arnorians are headed. Of course, we don't want them to escape to their <laughs> watery graves. <laughs> So, and round here, uh, we also had a past courage test of an Arnorian who charged the marshal. Probably been surrounded by bloodthirsty orcs and the like. So, we are going to go into combat. It was your priority. Where do you want to start? Uh, we'll start with Arvadui. Arvadui versus the two knights here. Arvadui's got one spear support. He has. Yep, he's got one spear support. He's not going to faint from the high fight. Uh, yep, so what do we get? We're going to get a two highest. You take it. So you are going to take that. Now you are strength four, so you will need fives from Arbadui, and yep. we are trapped, so you get double dice there. So fives on the first one? Fives on the first one. Nope. Fives on the second. Yeah, so. Uh, he's going to mite that one and kill them both. So he's gonna Actually, now though, I've still got spear strikes on him leading sixes. Spear strikes on him leading sixes. Hey! Yay, yeah, yeah, a good right job he did that. So there we go. So two of the knights have been slain. Some of the goalkeepers are going down now. Ooh. Hey, sorry, buddy. Sir. Um, and with that, we're going to go into the next combat here. So we're going to do a, a piercing striking orc. Why wouldn't he? Um, against the Are you going to go for it? Uh, not if you pierce the striking now, our shield. You going for it? Oh, here we go. We get the six. So the piercing strike goes up too. Goes up by two. So he's now strength five. So he will need fives on you. Fives on these. Uh, sorry, fives on this dice. Yes. Malbeth. Malbeth save. Yes. Saves it. And then the spear support needing the six. No, but Malbeth does his job there. So next up we have got the spectre. And the spear support versus the single one. Well, he'll be in base contact. Yeah. So here we go. So you've got two dice Painting here. Painting on blue. Painting on blue. Ooh. Bop, 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 bop. 
four. Take it on fight. And you take it on fight value. Um, so the spectre, I've got no idea what defense he is. Five. Defense five, so you will need fives. Fives. Nope. nope. Sadly not. Fainting was on the blue. And then finally over here we've got the single honor and I'm guessing he's shielding. <laughs> yeah. We'll start off with the Oh, well, so you get a six. So let's set the bar at six. Set the bar at six. Now you charged in. I did. So I only get two there from the Black Numenia Marshal, one from him, two from the Orcs who will use all their special strikes and the like, and then we've got the spear support as well, which I'll use the yellow dice. So I need a six. Oh, doesn't get it. <laughs> so you do back them away, Orcs back away, Marshal backs away. That is Fornos. This is how it's looking. The Town of Terror. We're going to roll for the next turn priority. Very important for you. I think. You get a four. We get a four, so it is going to go, of course, to the Orcs. So the Spectre over here is going to get Malbeth to do a courage test. He's courage four? Five. Courage five. Okay, so we've double ones. Three. No, he loves it. Uh, and then he's just going to move up and charge there, and we'll carry on with the rest of the movement. So as you can see, the Orcs have all rushed forward. I've just heard some very interesting news that <laughs> Arbadui actually, whilst I was upstairs, used his uh, his will points to manage to uh, charge the uh, the Mongol Knights. Um, so he is moving here, which is six inches away um, from yeah, yeah. Arvadui, and he's going to use three of his five to try and paralyze Arvadui. So I need a four plus. Oh, it's a yes. bosh! It's the worst aspect <laughs> bosh ever! Um, so Arvadui is going to be fine. Spear support is going to move up there, and we're going to carry on with the rest of the movement there. So it's looking messy. Will Arvadui and Malbeth get off the board? We've got a ton of combats over here, um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with this combat over here, nice and simple. We've got two orcs, orc in front with piercing strike uh, versus your bravely shielding. Bravely shielding. You get a six, so you're going to win that fight, and the orcs are going to be pushed back he's there. He's pushing for man of the match, he is. He's doing well, he's held up quite a lot, um, but the marshal had enough. He decided that uh, the action, of course, was over here. Uh, so next up, we're going to go down this end. We've got the spectre versus and uh, his orc spear support. Yep, fainting on blue. Fainting on blue. So what do you get? You get a six and you are going to push the spectre and his buddy back. Next up we've got uh, three here. I'm going to... Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I yes, thought you were shooting fives. There. So needing fives on him. Oh, no, not no. enough. Don't get it. Uh, so next up we've got piercing striking orc with his orc spear support versus three Arnorians. Yep. What's going to happen? I'm going to fade on red. Fade on red. Five highest, this is where we get a six. Jubba, jubba, jubba. Oh no, we get a three. So the piercing strike goes down two, goes down by three, so he's now strength two. So you will kill that orc there. Another orc bites the dust. Okay, so over here, ooh, what have we got, what have we got, what have we got? We're gonna start off with this one here. Uh, so we've got two Onorians versus the two guys there. Uh, my guy in front will faint, of course. So what do you get? You get the six, oh, and you are going to win that, so it is looking good. So he's going to move back the inch. Will you kill him? Needing a five. No. No, we're rolling on blue. We're rolling was on the blue. Okay, so next up, we're going to do Arva Dewey versus the Spectre. Yeah. Uh, you, of course, have a spear support. Arva Dewey will faint, so I'll still be high five. Makes sense. What are you going to go for? What are you going to get? Oh, you get the six, and he loves it. So to wound the Spectre, needing fives. And Brave you get him. So the Spectre is going to bite the dust. He's getting there. Okay, so next up, we're going to do the single uh, Orc here, who is going to faint versus the two there. He's not going to shield. He's an Orc. <laughs> Although, <laughs> it wouldn't matter either way. Okay, so needing a five. Get the five. Oh, no, he doesn't get it. Uh, and then next up here, we've got the, uh, the Spear versus two. What do you get? You get double sixes uh, and needing fives to kill. Yay. And you do get it, so another orc is going to bite the dust. So there, it, that's how it's looking. We think these Arnorians, they might be able to get past. So we're going to roll for the next turn. Priority. We get a two. Not good. And a five, and it's going to go. <laughs> it's going to go here. Right, I'm going to come in straight away because... Arvadoy is going to use his last point of might for a heroic move. That's fine. So a heroic move. So Arvadui's last point of might has got him into that situation, but unfortunately none of the Arnorians, I think there were about three or four who tried to take courage tests, could not charge the Barrow White. That means the Barrow White is going to use his last two <laughs> to try and paralyse Arvadui. Can he do it? Mm. In the four plus. Oh, oh. He's done it. And he gets it, so unfortunately you are going to be paralysed and we're going to carry on with the rest of the movement. Wow. So it hangs by a thread, it hangs by a thread because Arbadui is now paralysed, which is pretty grim. Uh, and in the meantime, of course, the Arnorians have rushed forward. Can they break through the uh, 
<clears throat> we'll, have to, we'll have to count up and see what, what you need to do to break me, but can they break through in order to save Malbeth and Arvadui in time? Arvadui might be in a bit of trouble being yes, paralysed. A bit of a sticky situation. A little bit of a straight, sticky situation. So we're going to go straight into those combats now. Uh, let's start off over here with some nice easy ones. So we've got the Spectre uh, and his Orc Spear support there. Yep, yeah, I'll take the front one. No, of course. Let's go. What do you get? You get a six and you take it. So he's going to back away. Needing a five to kill the Spectre. No. Nope. Oh, no. Um, and next up, we have got this one here. I will, of course, faint. Yep, yeah, fainting on blue. Faint on blue. You get a five. We've got a chance. Ah, it's gone off the table. Nope. So you are going to take that. So fainting on blue, needing a lot of fives. No. no. Wrong way round. Wrong way round. Okay, so we're going to back away. Uh, next up, we've got these two here. Oh, we'll do this one. So you've got uh, paralyzed Arbadui on the floor. Yeah. Uh, we've got fainting, and then we've got the two guys there as well. So I get one strike from my spear support. One strike from your spear support. No, it is. no, it's not good. Oh, and it's not as good as the five. So you are on the floor. Mm -hmm. uh, you are trapped. Yeah. So the fainting dice will be the black dice. In the the fainting dice will be the black dice. So not the fainting dice, the other ones. And the fainting dice will be the white dice. Okay, so your defense six. Yep. So we will need sixes. Need sixes. Oh. And there is one there. And down to one wound to have no fate. You have no fate? No fate. One wound, he's got two wounds? Yep. Wow. Uh, and these guys will back away for the time being. So next up, we've got the final combat. Oh, oh no, there's one more over there. Uh, so we've got fainting versus you've got fainting blue dice there in front of course. Yep. What do we get? You get fours, and we're going to get the six there. So we do take that. So fainting on the on the black dice, and no, we don't get anything there. Back over here, we've got piercing, striking, orc, and his spear support versus. Are you shielding Shield again? It. Can he do it? Oh, oh it's not as good this time. Oh no, but we got the five there. So piercing strike goes up to goes up by two. Uh, so we will Still need fives. fives. So fives on the white dice. No double Nothing four. Lives. He lives again. Here is four lost. So, does Marbeth get up at Arvadui? Arvadui, do you do it at the end of the turn? Yep. Okay. So on a six, he stands up. On a six, can you do it? No, oh, no, it's not good. Okay, so, priority. Three, four, oh, oh not dear. Good. Not good. It's gonna go, of course, to the orcs. And we forgot this combat here, we've got one more orc spearman versus three Arnorians. Yep, fainting. two fainting. Front two. Oh dear. It's a wonderful roll. Oh, it's better than that though. Okay, so the red dice fainting, need fives, rerolling ones on red. Nope, and that's nothing. nothing. Wow. Okay, so we have done priority and it is going to Angmar. Potentially not looking good for Arva Dewey. This is how it's looking. So you can see that some of the knights, the Marshal, the Barrowite, even Malbeth, they're all going for it now. The scrap is over here on the flank. Let's start off with the stuff, which uh, of course the most important thing, which is over here. We've got a piercing, striking or I think I'm going to use Ooh. Malbeth's only might point to call her at combat against the Barrow White. Oh wow, how interesting. I don't even know the Barrow White stats. He's uh, fight three, strength two. Has he got one attack? Yes. One attack, and he also has a spear support as well. So a spear support there. Yep, fainting on the front two. Fainting on the front two. So, you've got all of these guys here. What can you get? You get a six, and you will be a high fight value. So here's defense oh, eight, I believe. Seven. Defense seven? Okay, so needing sixes with oh, of everything. We're rolling oh, ones. We're rolling ones on the blue. <laughs> nope. No. It's failed. He failed, but he did try and save his king there. Um, so over here, we are going to do this one. I'm pissing striking, of course, with the guy in front. I'm going to go for it. Oh, it's, it might as well. You get a four. We get a five. The piercing strike goes up two. Goes up by three. Fours. So needing fours on the black, black dice. No. And needing a six on the yellow dice. Hey, the yellow, yellow dice, dice does it. Okay, coming around here, we've got the spectre and a uh, spear support versus two. Yep, I'll faint with one. I'm going to faint. What do you get? It's terrible. Oh, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Only just though. Okay, uh, striking courage, don't they? Yep. Uh, so I need threes. Fours. fours. So fours on him, against him. Nope. And then sixes. Nope. Uh, but does back him away. Next up, we're going to do uh, this charging knight versus yep. you. I'm going to shield. You're going to shield. Got my lance, of course. You get fives. But we get a six. So you are knocked down. And we will need fives here. 
Oh, and we do get one. Malbeth. Malbeth save. Five or six saves. Yes. Oh, he does it. A second save. Uh, but he's going to be on the floor there. Next up, the charging Morgul Knight that got in on two. Yeah. Okay, so uh, using my lunch. Take the front. And you get a six. Six, but that's six. Oh, no, because we fight four. Same fight, yep. Yeah. Same fight. So here we go. Sneen the six. Oh, and we do. So roll off it was. Your priority. So one to three, it goes to Angmar. Yes. But the six says it goes to Arnor. Go so for the rider. Going for the rider, and then sixes. No, sadly not. Unfortunately not. Okay, so next up we've got the Orc Spearman uh, versus three. Yep. Uh, yep. No, he's yeah. spearsporting him. He's spearsporting oh, him. So versus two here. Yep, my favourite one. Okay, let's go. What do you get? It's uh, a wonderful roll. And we get a five and we take it. So in the six here to win one. Oh, he nearly does it himself. Uh, the Blood Numenorian Marshal here versus the Arnold Warrior. He has got spear support. Yep, so fading on blue. Fading on blue. Uh, you got four highest, come on. And we get the six. So we're going to roll this twice to try and take him down. And a five and a six for the first lot. And again. And that's three. Three Malbeth saves. No. Two. You get two of them. Oh, two of them, but unfortunately. He is going to go down. Uh, so next up, we are going to be doing the Arvadu on the floor. I automatically win. You automatically win. You just okay. need to throw one. So of course, these guys are going. One. Oh wow. And oh. he's dead. Okay, so uh, we'll start off with these four. Median sixes, re-rolling ones. Sixes, re-rolling ones. Oh. Oh, they don't get it. <laughs> and these ones, a single six, a single six. Come on. Not a single oh, one! Arva Dewey lives. Arva Dewey lives. Uh, and that one. Oh no, we've got one more here. Yes. Uh, so we've got the Charging Morgul Knight versus. Uh, two, no, versus yeah. one. No, he's best supporting there. He was wasn't, that wasn't he? Well, okay, shield then. Shielding, using the lance. You get a four. four. Oh, you get a six. Knock you down. Needing fives. Not a single one. It's terrible. Okay, so rolling for priority. It's six, it's going to go to Arnor. So here we go, here is how it's looking. We're going to race through these combats now. Uh, and we are going to start off with a key one over there, Arva Dewey. Uh, Arva Dewey does have a spear support, so you do have a chance here. Oh, oh it's a four, it's not, it's not great. great, it's not great. So we've got the Barrow White. Um, we've got one, two, three spear supports. And we've got two fainting orcs. Do that as well. Okay, here we go. Can we do it? Need a four plus. Oh, I can see a five. Just the one though. Okay, so the uh, the spectre himself will strike at the courage. Is that right? I don't think he can do that as a barrel white. Barrel white? Has he not got a thingy blade? It doesn't matter. Sure. Anyway, oh, let's do the rest of them anyway. So we'll do um, sixes, sixes, re-rolling ones. A single one will kill him. These are just the front guys, and we've got it. Malbeth save. Malbeth. No, no, he's done. Arvadu has gone down, so the orcs have guaranteed themselves a draw. Now, can they kill Malbeth? We shall see. Let's start off over here with the charging Mongol Knight versus the single. Yep, shield. You're going to shield. I use the lance. You get a six and you beat. Oh no, I'm equal. Same five. I remember that. Oh, we get it as well. So roll off. It was your priority. It was. One to three. It's going to go to Angmar. Oh, it does. So fives all smash him. We get one. Uh, Malbeth? No, he's way over there now. Oh gosh, he is, yeah. Oh, he's, I see where he's gone. I'll tell you what, let's go for this one now. Now, you did manage to charge me. You had to I use did. a will point to do it. Um, so. Set the bar at five. Set the bar at five. I've got two dice here. I'm five six, I believe. Five five, but you're higher. Higher than me. Ah, oh, no, he doesn't do it. Yeah, we're going to go for the horse. Going for the horse. Oh, no. 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 Uh, so I'm going to get to back away. Okay, so next up we've got this charging versus guy on the floor and yep. that one there. So what I'll do you... I'll faint with the one that stood up. You're going to faint, use my lance. You get a three, three highest, it's wonderful. We get a four, so we do take you. Um, so on the first guy, first guy needing fives, that's one. And the next guy needing fives, that's two. Nope. nope. So a bit of smash there. So um, the Arnorians are being whittled down. We're getting closer. Getting there, yeah. We're getting closer. Okay, so we'll go into this two versus one. I'll faint with the guy in front. We'll have to go for it now. Oh no. We get four. Yep. So fainting on the white dice, needing sixes. Nope. And next up we've got the Spectre. You've got two yep. there. Fainting on blue. Cross. Okay, what do we get? We get four. And you yeah, kill him. Spectre finally goes down. 
Over here we've got the Spearman versus the Spearman. You get five, that's only a six or win it. Oh no, a five, it's not good enough. Need another five? No. Nope. No, he lives. Charging Morg all night? Yep, shield. Shielding, using my lance, of course. Six. You get a six, so oh, I need a six here. I don't get it, so I will be pushed back one inch. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And we've got the Spearman here. Yep. Is that a combat? Okay, so right. Spearman right. versus right. that on you two. Get a five. Five, it's all right, this guy will get a six because he's a salt throw. Oh, sorry, for a sec. <laughs> okay, any fives? Nope, nope. we're rolling, we're rolling on blue. ones on the blue. No. Nope. Wow. So, getting closer to breaking, we're going to go for priority. I need a six to get it. Oh, and it's going to go to you. So you get to move first. So there is lots and lots of blood on both sides. Mostly Arnorians though at the moment. Arnorian. Mostly Arnorians. Uh, so blood is flowing into the snow. And Malbeth tried to make a break for it. But whoa, what's this? Unfortunately. Four models failed. Four models failed a courage test which has allowed the marshal to get in. However, uh, one of the Mogul Knights did get tied down. And that was pretty much the story of that. Now because we are limited for time, I think we should start off with this one. Yeah. So you've got Malbeth and you are fight four. <laughs> fight three. Fight three, wow. That's five, it's pretty strong, and there's no might here. So. Go on, Malbeth. Come on! Oh no. So Malmeth is on the floor. He's defense four? Five. Defense five, so we'll need fives, okay? So fives, and you've got. Two wounds, one fate. Two wounds, one fate. So you only get one. So Malbeth, Malbeth save. save. He saves it on himself, he's gonna live. So we're gonna race through the rest of the combats here. So, starting off here. Yeah. Morgan Knight versus go one. For going for it. We win. And needing fives. We yep. get him, that's one. We'll go for uh, this next one along. Orc Spearman versus one. Oh, and you take it, you get five. No. no. Uh, next up, that one. One on one. Uh, roll off, it was your priority. It no, goes to me. Yeah. Nope. So next up, uh, we've got uh, this one. I didn't realize that was one. Never mind. So we've got one on one. Nope, goes to you. Uh, In a five. Nope, not killing them at the moment. Next up, we've got spear support and the Morgul Knight versus one. Shield. And you're going to shield, of course. Uh, four highest. Uh, did you charge me? Did I charge you? You charge me. Mm, I charge you. You've got four highest. And we got five and we take it. So, needing fives on these ones. No. no. And then needing uh, sixes on these ones. <laughs> the spearman gets it. And are you broken? I am now, yeah. You are now broken. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, spearman, uh, supported by spearman versus one spearman. Yeah. Because he was a paralyzed gun. Let's go. What do you get? Three. We get a six and we take it. Needing another six. Nope. Uh, next up, we've got the Barrel White versus one. One on one, you get two. We get five, we take it. So, Defense, needs... uh, strength two, so six is still. So, six is. Nope. Uh, and then finally, over here, uh, or not finally, I think there's a few more. Uh, we've got two fainting, two supporting there. Get a five highest. Get five highest. And we get the six. Fainting on the red dice, needing sixes. No. Fainting. Oh! He's done it. He's going to go down. Uh, and then the last fight is this one here. Yeah. Uh, your shield. Did I charge here? Uh, no, oh, no, I charged on the back you. of that, didn't I? Did he, he failed to do anything. He failed to do anything. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. So there we go. So priority. Oh no. You get a one. One. It goes to me, I think. Yeah, it does. It goes to me. He's going to charge in there. And you're courage too, aren't you? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. Let's. Uh, Let's try and do some stuff. He'll go into them. Like that. Sorry, bud. He's up. He can go there. Go into those. I think my best had it. I think he might have done. That's uh he'll charge him. He'll go in, he'll go in, and he will <coughs> So here we go, this is how it's looking after priority and uh, of course we've got a couple of courage tests here. So uh, we've got courage test, they charged there didn't they? So courage test on Spearman there, loves it. And spear support will he? Uh, he's going to try and charge him. Try and charge him. 
Yes. Yes, he does it. So he's going to get in and he's going to help his master there. Okay, so that's uh, that's a win. Okay, uh, they were in. So this one here. Oh, it's caught. Need a six. Oh, no, it doesn't get enough. it. He's gone. So, so he's gone. Uh, this one here. He's gone. gone. This one here. He loves it. What's he going to do? Uh, not a lot. Um, let's support him there. He's going to spear support him now. Uh, so we are going to start off with the Malbeth one because we've got two. We've got the Morgul Knight. Uh, Captain. Malbeth dies, it's all over. Come on, here we go. You get two. We're going to take it. So here we go. These dice here, needing fives, these ones. Uh, that's two. And then we've got these ones here, the black ones, uh, needing fours. Two. So. Malbeth saves. He's, he's done. He's going to be done. So there we go. The two Arnorian heroes, Arvadui and Malbeth, don't make it off. The force of Angmar was successful in denying them. And Absolutely Arnold will surely perish. <laughs> I think they were destined for uh, uh, an icy death anyway. Mm. Uh, so we hope you enjoyed that Fornos little mini battle report. It was a quick one because we didn't have too long before Will had to go. We're going to go into a very, very quick post battle battle breakdown. Welcome to the post battle bat rep breakdown. We never ever like rushing you guys with your battle reports, but it's better to get some content than uh, than none at all. And of course, you have made a long, long, long trip to come down the early yes. and do that. Uh, so we did play it. We played a couple of fun scenarios today, haven't we? We have. Did you enjoy that one? Yeah, it was good. It was your idea. Uh, completely threw it together. Uh, we tried to make a kind of ruined Fornos. I think we succeeded there yes. to a degree. Um, and it looked like at one point that you would just kind of swing around. I was getting there. We weren't, you, have, you must remember, we weren't playing this in a competitive way in any way, shape or form. Uh, the, the Angmar forces just rushed up the middle, you kind of skirted around the side, but then they did catch up with you. I think yeah. the key moment was the two Morgul Knights coming in front for the heroic march, so you couldn't actually get yeah. past them. Yeah, couldn't charge well them. the idea was I was going to have some come around one side of the wall, some around the other, but I yeah. couldn't stay over in six because of your knights. And then of course, um, just sort of the getting down, only having the courage to, yeah. uh, but more importantly, the Barrow Whites paralyse. On Arbor Dewey. Very, very good. Yeah, it's, it, it was it was pretty effective, although he did fail it spectacularly the first time. Uh, so good fun. Any comments on that before we wrap up? Um, no, Arnold just need to stop being cowards. <laughs> they need uh, they, they need a little bit more courage, don't they? They need to uh, need a bit more courage. That's what broke them ultimately in the end. Uh, so guys, do hope that you enjoyed that. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. A really, really quick little battle rep there. We've had a really good game, real good fun, and rush for it. Hope you guys out there are having a good game, and we'll see you in the next episode of Adventures in Ardor.